the adorable. I was distracted. Yes, as you can see, it is now time for Ask the Expert, and we are crooning over this little cutie right here. Today, <laughs> we're talking about something kind of different here, the benefits of canine massages. Joining us live this afternoon, the Associate Director of Individual Living at the Wisconsin Humane Society, Heidi Boyd. And the puppy's name is? This is Riviera. Hi, Riviera. <laughs> she's very calm. And Riviera is going to be a big dog, judging by the size of those paws. <laughs> but she's a very sweet dog. Okay, you are giving Riviera a good pet in there. Yes. But we're going to talk about canine massage. What is the difference what between a good petting? And canine massage. That is an excellent And I leave question. my TV on for the dogs at home, so don't get any ideas. <laughs> that is an excellent question. So there are trained canine masseuses who can actually teach you proper technique to help work with your animal um, to give the dog really uh, a good caring, loving massage, mm -hmm. and that can help with relaxation, socialization, particularly if you've got an older dog sure. that might have mm -hmm. some arthritis, it can help them recover from some of the aches and pains of getting older. Um, and so it is, you know, just like it's beneficial for humans, it uh -huh. can be beneficial for your dog as well. Well, you mentioned that there are professionals who are trained in this. Where do you get trained to be a canine masseuse? That is an excellent question as well. So the Wisconsin Humane Society periodically offers mm -hmm. canine massage classes. We actually have one this Thursday evening, um, 6.30 p.m. at our Milwaukee campus. Okay. We charge for that. It's $40 per dog, but we don't charge per human. So if you want to bring a spouse or a child, a significant other, somebody to come along and also learn. Per uh, dog, welcome. not per human. Per I dog, like the not way per that human. Works. <laughs> How much does something like that cost, though, once you start becoming a professional? Oh, well, I, you know, I wouldn't, uh, if you're attending as a dog owner, it would be $40 and probably just for the one class. But if you enjoy it, you're welcome to come back anytime. You, okay. Using the adorable fluff ball you have in your lap right here, can you show us one quick little massage technique that we, uh, that we can all take away? I am actually not the expert. I ah. would have to take the class myself, <laughs> but okay. I, I would go ahead and say that she seems pretty relaxed. Yeah, she's, oh, yeah, she's, she's loving, loving it. She's, she's like, like that's good. Touch. Yeah, if absolutely. she could talk, she'd probably be like, to the left, to the left a little more. <laughs> and is she available for adoption? Tell us about that process oh, yes, as well. Oh, yes, thank you for asking. She is. In fact, she has uh, two brothers as well back at oh. the shelter. So there are three three-month-old puppies, um, mm -hmm. and they are available for adoption right now. And so as soon as she and I get back to the shelter uh, in Milwaukee, she'll be up for adoption and probably find a good home. Everybody are they all chocolate? They are not. Okay. They're, um, she's got just this really beautiful brown, mm -hmm. brown yes. coat. Oh. Yeah. Well, the, the mission now for everybody watching... Riviera at home. Is to find Riviera is to find Riviera siblings. at the Humane Society and thank bring her home and give her a forever home. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for coming in, talking about canine massage and giving us more cute than we can handle. Got a question for our expert? Send an email to asktheexpert at tmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail. That number is right there on your television screen. See, this is a side of you I've never seen before. I do love my dogs. Still ahead. <laughs>